Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be explaining using states and how to estimate the panel to stately square. How to estimate the panel to stately square. And we all know why we use the panel to the, the, the two stately square. It's basically to account for endogeneity bias in our econometric model. I want to estimate a model where I want to, ex to examine the impact of economic growth, uh, unemployment and political stability on poverty in Africa. So the command for the panel to stately square is the IVRH2 command. Then we'll include our dependent variable. Here is poverty, PO, POV1. So when you're estimating this model, you have to tell states which variable you're considering to be endogenous and which variable you're also considering to be exogenous. For for this uh, for this class, I would be assuming I'll be giving an an assumption that GDP is exogenous. So I would click outside GDP, the log of GDP, and I'll open a bracket. So within this bracket, I'm going to be I will be including both the endogenous variable along with their instruments. As I said earlier, I am assuming that unemployment and political stability is endogenous. So I'll put an equals to sign, then I'm going to be using the lags. For this example, I'll be using two lags of each of the endogenous variables as instruments in the regression analysis. So I've used the lags, the first and second lag of unemployment. I'll also be using the first and second lag of political stability. Then I put a comma. Then I want to ensure that my statistics value are robust to heteroskedasticity and serial correlation, and that is why I am using the BW2 and the robust and the robust. So I'm also going to be telling Stator that I want a, a T statistics instead of a Z statistics using this small here. Then I click. Um, I think all is good then I click enter now here's my the results of the two stages score you could see here the IV2 SLS estimation technique you could also see that unemployment increases uh, poverty why GDP reduces poverty so there are some diagnostic tests we have to consider which is the clay began pap RK element statistics the Klebeg and Pap RK Wild F statistics and the Hansen J statistics. Now it's important for you to note that for your for your model to be valid, these statistics, the KP RK LM statistics have to be have to be significant and the Hansen J statistics must be in, must be insignificant. The probability must be insignificant. This means that the model is not over identified. And for the KP um, RKLM test, the p value of less than 5% also indicates that the model is not under identified. You should always, you should always, uh, it's, I have to also bring this to note that the IVRH2 command can also be used uh, for, apart from panel data, it can also be used for cross sectional uh, data sets. Thank you very much.